Hello, this is Yang Fang from Tsinghua University. Today, I have invited Abbas, Alex, Billy, and Krista to talk about animal testing. Hi, everyone. My name is Alex. I am a master student in Tsinghua University, and I will be assisting in this course. Hello, everyone. This is Abbas. I come from Pakistan,、uh, and I am a PhD student in civil engineering department of Tsinghua University. Hi everyone. My name is Billy, and I major in environmental engineering. I'm from Canada. Hello, my name is Kalista. I'm from Russia, and I'm looking forward to have the deep learning adventure with you this semester. Today, our topic is on animal testing. It is reported that an estimated 26 million animals are used every year in the United States for scientific and commercial testing. From documents and reports, we know that animals are used for biomedical, commercial, and healthcare research. For example, animals are test subjects for medical treatments to determine the toxicity of medications and to check the safety of products that are intended for humans. So here's my question: Should animal be tested for scientific and commercial testing? As the scientist, I would say they're rather supporting the animal testing because it's important to have a pilot experiment before you, it's proven to be safe for human use. Well, we believe that、uh, animal testing is cruel and inhumane, so we strongly oppose it in any form. But animal testings are critical to、uh, medical research, and they have contributed to many life-saving cures and treatment for human beings. The California Med- Biomedical Research Association has proven that in the last century,、um, actually, animal testing、uh, has contributed to nearly every breakthrough in medical technology. So we support that experimentation.、Uh, it has made some contribution, I know, but I think still it's cruel and、uh, inhumane. According to the International Humane Society, animals used in experiments are commonly subjected to forced feeding, forced inhalation, food and water deprivation, prolonged periods of physical restraint, the infliction of burns and other wounds to study the healing process, the infliction of pain to study its effects and remedies, and even killing by carbon dioxide asphyxiation, a neck breaking. Decapitation or other means. But what kind of, of alternatives could they have、uh, to perform these kind of experiments on the living bodies and the living organisms? Human and animals' bodies are quite complex, and you cannot just perform these kind of experiments on petri dish. It's useful, but not enough. Some processes they're quite integrated, and you don't know what kind of effect it would have on the body reaction. Like nervous system, endocrine system, or immune system, you have to perform it before you use it. Actually, alternative testing methods now exist that can help replace replace the need for animals.、Um, for example, the in vitro testing,、uh, such as the study studying of human cells culture in petri petri dish. Can produce more relevant results than animal testing because human cells are used. I think animals are appropriate research subjects because they are similar to human beings in many ways. And for example, monkeys they share 99% of DNA with human beings, and、uh, something like mice they have、uh, 98% of genetically similar materials to humanity. Well, you can say that, but、uh, even if they share the same DNA,、uh, they still live in different ecosystems. So you can't just say that they're the same.、Uh, there are some metabolic or anatomic differences between animals and humans. So I think they、uh, animals make poor subjects, poor test subjects for humans. That's why probably some ethical regulations are really necessary necessary in this crucial question because、um, you cannot just test on human being any treatments which. He would not agree to apply it to his own body, and also for animals, if you don't want to torture them and treat them well, you also have to have, apply certain regulations to that to control these kind of processes. 
Some experimental procedures involving genetic manipulations are unacceptable to be performed on human because it can place them in danger. And that is crucial. Yes, uh, drugs that pass animal tests are not necessarily safe. So, um, for humans, of course. For example, the 1950s a sleeping pill, uh, thalidomide, it caused 10,000 babies to be born with severe deformities. Um, this, of course, was tested on animals prior to its commercial release, and it proved to be unsafe for humans later. Actually, those tests, tests that were made on pregnant mice, rats, guinea pigs, cats, and hamsters um, did not result in birth defects unless the drug was administered at extremely high doses. So you can imagine how many birth defects there were. Interesting. I think animal research is highly regulated now, with laws in place to protect animals from mistreatment. Um, for example, I know that in addition to the local and state law and regulations, uh, the animal research has been regulated by the Federal Animal uh, Act, which uh, Welfare Act, so AWA, since 1966, and as well as stipulating the minimum housing requirement and standard for, for, for animals, surprisingly. Um, the, for such as enclosure size, such as the temperature, um, uh, access to clean food and water, uh, and other uh, requirements. The AWA also requires regular ins uh, inspections uh, from vets. Uh, well, I think uh, what you were talking about, it, is, uh, it exists in papers, but not on ground. Because 95% uh, of the animals being tested are not protected by AWA. Uh, like for example, birds, mice, rats. They are not protected in this act. Just now, both sides have given us very many reasons why you support or disagree with the idea of animal testing. I think now let's come to the time for both sides to summarize. I'd say we'd rather support animal testing since it has enabled lots of uh, life-saving human and animal uh, treatment systems. But when it there is no other adequate alternatives to that and when it's strictly regulated and protecting animals from the mistreatment. And this animals and animal testing saved a lot of lives of human beings and bigger animals uh, when those medicines and treatment systems were performing them. And since there is no other adequate solution to perform that on the complex systems like the living organism, we don't have any other options. Well, we are strongly against animal testing because it is cruel and inhumane to experiment on animals. Alternative research methods are available to replace animal testing. Animals are so different from human beings that research on animals often yields irrelevant results. Um, to summarize our arguments, number one, animal testing is cruel. Number two, alternative testing methods now exist that can replace the need for animals. Number three, animals are very different from human beings and therefore make poor test subjects. Number four, Drugs that pass animal tests are not necessarily safe. And number five, 95% of animals used in experiments are not protected by the Animal Welfare Act. Now, this is a very good debate, and everybody has given us reasons why you support or disagree with the idea. Last week, when we meet, I wanted to express your ideas clearly and logically in a paper form. So please go back home to check other research on animal testing and cite other research in your own paper.